Here we see a vulnerability in BlueZ. So BlueZ is the Linux Bluetooth implementation, and specifically there is a protocol called Service Discovery Protocol in Bluetooth Classic, and it allows a client device to query what services are supported by a server device. And so if there is a custom attribute or a custom service that is supported, then basically if the data to send back to the client is too big, it will be fragmented across multiple packets. And from the beginning of Vulnerabilities 1001, you should know that fragmentation and reassembly should make your exploity sense tingle. Now the way SDP fragmentation works in a nutshell, at least according to the vulnerability researcher, is that if the data would be too large, the server creates something they call a continuation state, and it is arbitrary and implementation specific. And the expectation is that that continuation state data gets sent to the client and it should be passed back to the server on a subsequent request so the server knows how to continue sending data. So I want to just actually quote from that research. It says, here's how it should work in theory. Client sends an attribute request. Server sees that the response is too large to fit in the reply. Server appends arbitrary continuation state data to the response. Client recognizes this means the response is not yet complete. Client sends the same request data again, this time including the continuation state sent by the server, and the server responds with the rest of the data. According to the specification, meaning the Bluetooth specification, the C state data can be arbitrary data, basically whatever the specific implementation wants, and the client is required to send the same request again, including the C state data sent by the server. So when I read this, quite frankly, it blew my mind, and I said, this is crazy. So you're telling me the Bluetooth specification says that the server is going to hand data to the client and say, hey, hold on to this and pass it back to me when you're ready to get the rest of the data. And the client says, yeah, sure, I'll do that. And then the client gets to send back potentially modified ACID version of that state information. That just seems like so many things can go wrong. If you have some sort of length field, it could be used as completely attacker controlled length. But even if you had just a simple, you know, sort of handle, you can imagine that the attacker could pass back a completely different handle and get back completely different data that's not supposed to be their data. So this just kind of seems like a design issue that is fraught with peril. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and have you look at the code, specifically this function that handles those sort of SDP service attribute requests. So take a look at the code and see if you can find the information disclosure flaw.